All right, Charles Peacock. Getting naked on the stage. And this is interesting right now. Charles, you got two exes, and neither one of those exes are from Piers Morgan. <laughs> Please explain. Well, I, I just don't know what they were watching, because we've had lots of jugglers over the years, but I've never seen anyone do anything like that. That was, that was really talented. I, honestly, I, as you started doing that, I thought this is all going to go wrong. I thought he's bound to drop them. To be able to keep that control at that speed, and play music. That's one of the most talented juggling acts I've seen on the show. Wow. That's from Piers Morgan. Sherry, you buzzed them. Which may be why they both buzzed you, because they don't no, know much I about think, talent. I think that he was impressed when you took your shirt off. I think that's what he liked. However, however, Charles, darling, I felt that it was very slow. When you started off, I'm like, you're wasting time here. You know, with the plop, slow. plop, it was too slow. I didn't get it. Mm. And then, and then, when you turned yourself into a Chippendale, it was like, what is going on? However, that's my opinion. All right, Howie. Well, I don't know where Piers lives or where he's been. You've never seen anything like that before. We no. have seen acts. There has been many acts that have dropped the ball on a on a keyboard. We even had Wayne, one this Wayne, season. Wayne. We had one this season who Wayne. had a ping pong ball and a xylophone, and he he spit it up on t and played the game. Never played the anything music. like that. Well, not but he had his shirt, shirt on. on. Well, That's he had his shirt right. on. That's Here's right, the man. biggest problem I have. Here's the biggest problem I have, and I said it in the package before. The first time you did glow in the dark uh, um, juggling, we loved it. Next time you lit yourself on fire. Now you raised it to the level where you took a shirt off and dropped your balls on a piano. <laughs> to me, the direction you went was down. Anybody, can, anybody can play it with their fingers, you know. I think, I think you have to show a large range. I don't think I wanted to try and outdo what I did in Vegas. You have to outdo I, it. I have to go a different route. No, have you have to outdo it. You know what, Charles? It's yeah. later on. Thing. No, I'm I'm you're getting wrong. a feeling. You're wrong. I'm you have to outdo it. No, you're I, wrong. I am getting a feeling. The entire audience agrees with me. You're wrong. You're wrong. Don't listen to him. Don't listen to him. That was very loud. Charles, you see what you caused? I, I can't believe I got... Actually, this is the guy I respect the most, and he Thank has the, mo the most intelligent... I think he's I think he's the one that's always, like, got a... Uh, and, you know, he ain't juggling. Okay, okay, stop you kissing tears his butt. How very dare you, Charles. <laughs> Jack, call 1866 60 AGT 04. That's 1866-60-24804. And don't forget, voting will be open for two hours after the show. The acts need you.